I mean, are we finding a dupe in here? Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I bring you my review, swatches, a ton of comparisons, and a demo on the brand new Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Highlighting Powder. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and Come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know if this highlighter is worth the $55 price tag, then just keep on watching. You know, friends, that I'm all up for a really good glow. And as soon as I saw this new Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Highlighter Powder, I was like, okay, this is it, this is done, give it to me right now. It's only available at Huda Beauty's website. I don't know if it's gonna come out at Sephora, we will see, it costs $55, it's made in Italy, and it's huge, it's huge, it's 10 grams of product. It's like, you will see it right now, it's really, really big. And you know, interesting fact right here, on the top it says the name of this product is called Flora. So I'm wondering if she's kind of like testing the waters to see if people like the formulation and then bring in another shade, which it will be really, really nice. So anyhow, friends, here it is, this beauty. It arrived to my door a couple days ago. And I have to tell you something. Guess what happened? Okay, I'm gonna try to open it carefully because it arrived broken. I know, this is so sad. I'm so afraid to just <sighs> tilt it up. But you see the big crack right there? I mean, like, it is nonetheless stunning. I truly, truly love this geometric design of this rose. It's just stunning. I mean, it's so beautiful. And you know what? I think this shade right here, this color, although this is not champagne. It has a little bit of a golden tone, not too cool. I think this is... I don't want to say it's a universal highlighter because we know that there's nothing universal. This may be a little bit too deep for those who have a fair skin tone and perhaps too light for somebody that is very, very deep complexion. But overall, I think it covers a good range of skin tones. But again, because it has labeled it as the name Flora, I have the hopes that they will come with more shades. Anyhow, my friends, I haven't tried it. This will be my first impressions right here. And then I will also be doing some comparisons with other OG highlighters so you can kind of have a comparison. And this is, you know, it says that it's an all over face and body powder. So let's do this, okay? Let's just go ahead and try it on. I'm gonna be using my favorite highlighter brush is the Refer 20 brush. If you don't have it, you need to go run and get it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and here okay it doesn't have any glitter and look at that I mean it's it's beaming but you have control of it I feel you have a good control and it doesn't have absolutely zero none nada glitter no es cacha <laughs> no purpurina okay let's see on this side Nice, really nice. Mm. I like this a lot. Beautiful. A little bit right here. Now let's move on to the body, to the shoulders, and let's just see how this product looks. Oh my goodness, okay. This is a clasp closure. It's just I'm afraid to open it and mess it up. I contacted Huda Beauty, they asked me for pictures and a lot of stuff and they are sending one to me, so that's good, good customer service right there. I mean, using it with a big brush, it's a lot more subtle, this is definitely not as beaming as if you use something like the fan brush there you go I mean it looks I think it looks very pretty okay you know what let me go with my fan brush right here mm -hmm. there you go 
いぞ。And you see, I do have more of a suntan right here on my body than I have on my face. So you can tell right there that it does work even if you are tanner than me. I feel it does work pretty good. Okay, my friends. So far, I'm loving what I'm seeing. I don't know, you have to tell me what you see in camera. Do you like it? So, so. But honestly, it looks pretty and it's, I mean, I don't see any chunk glitter particles I just see a beautiful sheen that's all what I see okay let me get you closer so we can actually swatch it and compare it with other OGs I mean are we finding a dupe in here let me tell you that in person they are identical I don't see the difference Huda and there's Amrizi. Maybe the camera you see a difference because like I said in person, I'm pretty sure this is the closest to that I I have seen before. Yeah, they look so much alike. Okay, let's move on right here with another one that is I mean, this is very different. This is Rodeo Drive, but it's again an OG, so I thought, you know, might as well. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So let's do here Rodeo Drive. Now, with Rodeo Drive, it's a little bit warmer. Yeah, a dash warmer than the other two. And then we have right here Cookie from Benefit. Cookie is more icy. Another goldy highlighter that came in last year is this Charlotte Tilbury one. This one right here you cannot find it anymore either, but this, this is deeper. And I just wanted to compare it for you to see like if you were trying to like have a reference. This is way deeper of a undertone. Way deeper of a golden shade. And then a highlighter that I truly love and it's also limited edition is by Shante Kai. This is, I mean, we all know. This brand right here, it's expensive. Now this one is also golden. And, but you know what? The one from Huda Beauty and the one from Anastasia, I'm Risi, they have a little bit more of like a warmer undertone. And then I also have right here one from Tom Ford. This is in Reflex Gilt, and I'm gonna swatch the top one. This top right, right here, it's also gold. I know, this is hard, huh? Let me swatch it, maybe right here, yeah. There you go. Now the one from Tom Ford, it's deeper. It's more alike to the one from Charlotte Tilbury. It has that deeper undertone to it. It's not as bright. Can you see, you can see the depth of Charlotte Tilbury up here. There you go. I do have also this one right here from Marc Jacobs in the shade worth the weight now this is a very icy shade um now this one doesn't have i mean it's a little bit opaque it's not i mean it's beautiful but it's more opaque it doesn't have a lot of that sheen than all the rest have and as you can tell right here it has a little bit of a wider base it is beautiful, but it will just work for those who have fair, light, light to medium skin tone. If you go already on the medium skin tone, I don't think this one will work. Now let's go over a little bit about the weight and the pricing. In this product right here, you get 30 grams, <laughs> okay? This is a massive amount of product for $55. I know the price, it seems very hefty, but 
listen, 30 grams, okay? Say Ofra, this has 10 grams of product and it costs about $34, okay? Then say for example, this Marc Jacobs right here. Now, this comes with 10 grams and it costs regular price $49. It has been on sale because this was a limited edition product from last year for $34, but it's still 10 grams. Then say you buy Cookie, the single one, the one that they sell at Sephora, not the one here on the pan. It comes with eight grams of product for $30. <laughs> $30, okay. And then if we talk about this one right here from Tom Ford, this comes with three grams of product. So you have about 1.5 grams of product on one highlighter, $84 for both. So we're talking about $42. So you do the math right there. That's extra expensive. And finally say a ColourPop highlighter. This costs $14 and comes with 10 grams of product. So if you multiply times three, I mean, it comes so close to this product right here. So close in price. As you can tell my friends, although this Huda Beauty highlighter seems like it is very steep on price, you're actually, it's, I think it's worth the price. I mean, like the value is there. You get a good amount of product, mostly for being an all over face and body highlighter. So you can use it on your legs. You get plenty of product. Aside that it's beautiful, although mine is broken. I don't know, it looks like a broken earth. It reminds me to a movie that, which movie is this one? Ice Age. <laughs> Sorry, I went into a dungeon right here. But anyhow, I mean, talking serious right here, I think it's beautiful. If you do the math, okay, this product per gram is about a dollar 80 something cents, which is very comparable to say ColourPop per gram. Um, in fact, I think this is even a little, like a couple cents cheaper than that. So overall, I mean, you're getting a really, a really good value for your money. And not only that, I'm pretty sure we have found a dupe for the Anastasia and Reese highlighter that is not available anymore. I mean, to me, swatching them, they are to me identical. So overall, I'm really happy with the product. I'm not happy that it arrived broken. I really look forward for Huda to send me my in great condition product. I'm sure they are. They said that it may take some time, so hopefully not too much. But I'm just really happy that I was able to try it and bring you this review right here. And now my friends, you have to let me know, are you planning to get this product? Have you already got it? How are you liking it? How are you using it? Leave those comments down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, you are waiting too long. I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel. Ring that post notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my uploads on this channel right here. I do a lot of reviews, first impressions, hauls, you name it. There's a lot of things right here. And if you have a little bit of a chance, help me grow my family on Instagram. Let's bump it up right there. So come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.